Hey friend, Alex here with Audio Edges, and today I want to talk about noise in your track. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of noise that is coming from your recording. Maybe the room was noisy, the microphone's picking up some noise. I'm assuming you have clean tracks here in your mix, but you're still getting some uh, hiss, some static in your mix, something that might sound a bit like this. Listen really closely. I'm going to turn this up. Do you hear that coming in? Let me boost that a little more okay so that is the type of sound that could be coming through in your mix now i'm working on a song here with these acoustic guitars that sound like this and as i was working very subtly in the background i could hear this kind of noise that we were talking about right just like this and what that is is not coming from the uh, the track itself because what I've noticed is that when I pause the song, that hiss continues to be there. And when I print the mix, that, uh, that kind of static continues to be in the song. In the quieter moments, you just hear it a little bit. And especially as I then go to master this song, that is going to be brought out even more. So let me show you where the culprit of this is, my friend. Sometimes when we use analog plugins, you will, uh, analog emulation plugins rather, you will see a button that says analog. Now, uh, here in this 1176 uh, emulation, the CLA 76, there's an analog button that says 60 hertz, 50 hertz, and this is something that I've come across. Lots of plugins will have some type of noise uh, kind of option in it, which you can actually just turn off. And this is just analog emulation noise. And I'm going to boost the trim on this track so you can hear more clearly what I'm doing. But look what happens when I just turn that off. Okay. I've reduced it on that left track. Now, I have a few other guitar tracks as well using this plugin. Let me turn that off. Off. And the other guitar right, off. Okay, now the noise is completely gone and I can have my track free of that noise. But the great news is that this plugin is still gonna react the same. This doesn't change how the plugin is compressing. This doesn't change anything of that sort. But what it does change is it will take that, uh, that uh, character, that hiss, that sound, that analog kind of emulation sound of kind of that uh, that static noise that we can get from these emulations and just lets us turn it off. Now, here's one more example that uh, I use all the time. This is the J37 tape. And one of the things I love to do is use one of these mastering presets and put that on my mix bus. But did you hear what happened when I did that? Now, right here where I'm hovering my mouse, you'll see this noise, okay? You hear that? So we're going to turn that all the way off. Now, the, the great thing about having the plug-in versions of, for example, this tape machine or the FET compressor is that you can get the sound and the characteristics of what the tape is doing. We get some of that nice saturation and we get, we, we get that tape sound, but we can turn off the noise and the plug-in. And that's why... Um, that's something I really like about these plugins. And most plugins, if they do have potential to add noise to your mix will have a place to turn it off. So you can find it something like here. You could find it uh, somewhere like here, for example, see this analog button. And we just can turn that off if we don't want to be introducing so much noise. So my friend, if you enjoyed this video, I have something that I think you will like. It is called the ultimate mixing tips and hacks guide. I will put the link for you at the very top of the description. But in this guide, I have a whole ton of tips just like this one. It literally says in this guide, this exact tip that I just shared with you. But in this guide, I put it all in one place for you, absolutely free. And the link is gonna be in this the description for you so you can grab that for free. Otherwise, my friend, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.